Bros play. Welcome back. Oh boy. I have a confession to make. Uh, not only I, uh, but my brother as well, and and we've been thinking about uh, revealing this information about ourselves, and we're finally uh, ready to share. We uh, we wear makeup on the show. <laughs> Just so that we look pretty. <laughs> There's gonna be people who only hear that, or this. Oh. You always gotta consider that every any episode could be someone's first. Like, I really hope that's your first. Yeah, this is what they're watching. Yeah, just us admitting that. Yeah. That's, should we um, should we clarify we're joking or no? Um, I think in in discussing whether we should discuss it, we have that was good enough. It. Yeah. Yeah. General Song's legitimate government doesn't sound very legitimate to me. Yeah, that's usually you can tell something's not legitimate when you call it legitimate. That's a really good point. You wouldn't have to specify something as being legitimate unless everything else of that type was bullshit or what you're peddling is bullshit. Uh, they did that joke in Archer. He's like, the glorious, uh, the glorious People's Republic of China. And he's like, it's not glorious, a republic or the people's. <laughs> it's actually a dictatorship in some ways. Well, someone made a joke about Trump like that. Um, his Twitter handle is at the at real Donald Trump, mm. and he said, "If you're so good at negotiating, how come you couldn't get at Donald Trump?" <laughs> <laughs> Who took that? That's so funny. Somebody took that from him. Oh, well, I failed. honestly wouldn't doubt it if there's someone else with the name Donald Trump. Yeah, there was a guy named Mike Rowe, who had a um, not Mike Rowe of Dirty Jobs. Uh, and he had a website called Mike Rowe Soft, and Microsoft sued him. No, no way. Yeah. Did he do that for for that reason? Like, was I, there an E in the name? I'm not sure, because I'm pretty sure he was doing software. Maybe I don't know. It was. Yeah. I was watching a, vi like a video. It was like top ten. Oh, like things. Mike Rowe Software. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. I really hope he did that intentionally. That'd be nice, but I mean, either way, he got sued. Wait, they don't notice I'm here? I just shot their tank. No, man, the signal's being jammed. Yeah, but you have to understand, that would rattle their cage. Like, that's still a bullet striking steel. Rattle my cage. It sounds like a... Like a song by Attila. Yeah, it actually does. Rattle the cage. I like how the, there's not much um, in in uh, distance audio. Like, a lot of the sounds coming through as though they're right next to you. Yeah, well, I also like that the death sound has nothing to do with the person. Like, that, that, when someone dies, happens <laughs> in your ear, not, like, the person doesn't scream that. Yeah. Because when you kill a helicopter, uh, the same thing happens. Really? Like, when you shoot someone in a helicopter? Because yeah. I heard you say that there's a distinct sound, and that you knew you killed that guy in the helicopter episodes back, and I didn't know what you meant. Oh, yeah, when I went back and watched it, like, I could still hear the sound. So it sounds like a dude going, Whoa! Essentially, yeah. Wow. You'll hear it. It's it's a very bizarre sound. Thank you, phone. Um, oh yes, uh, shout out to my boy Trent. Uh, I got a, a buddy at work who I, I've told them about the channel a few times, but I try not to push it on people. I, I like I'll let them know about it, but I don't say check it out. Cause man, is that ever fucking annoying? I'll be back to Especially that. Especially if you're not interested in it. Yeah, I'll be back to that topic in a moment. Um, I have an official statement. <laughs> Once you give this shout out. Yeah. Um, he watched the channel. He watched enough of it to kind of understand where we are and where we, like, things that we tried in the beginning. And, uh, he had very positive but objective things to say. Like, it wasn't, like, a lot of people were like, I watched it. It was good. <laughs> it's like, okay. That, that was cool. It's Thanks like, you for your like, criticism. Like, like, what were you watching? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, what'd you like about it? Well, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> Like, okay, well, <laughs> I just like the way you guys talk. I just like the sound of your voice against my cold ears. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks to Trent for giving me some positive feedback. We don't get too much feedback at all, so when somebody is really, um, excited about something and it feels really fucking nice because I spend a lot of time doing this. Even before you were around, where I I didn't get much, didn't get much support back. Yeah, well, like 
no feedback is rough. Like, negative feedback is one thing, but no feedback just feels like nobody's paying attention and, like, you're just... Yeah, you'd almost rather people hate you than people just not be listening. I don't know about hate, <laughs> but... Uh, well, hate on you, I would definitely rather you. people be like, the fuck is this? Play better games, like, rather than just, like, absolute nothingness. Because it feels like you're just talking into space. There is um, something almost... Uh cathartic i guess about talking into space though like that idea that you're just kind of throwing it out into the abyss there is that for sure um but back on that topic of uh why is this registered as an enemy on my map because you're you have to i guess because they think you're i don't know i'm not shooting them down it's pretty funny I guess, I guess the red blob just indicates helicopter not necessarily enemy helicopter. oh yeah, that's probably it yeah, that's pretty good. Good job, brother. We get it. Why would I need an allied APC when I'm in North Korean territory? You, you want to see something hilarious? I'm pretty sure I can call in a Jaju, and they won't even, uh, like, they won't care. They won't question why there's a civilian driving around this, like, super secure area. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on that topic, I've had many people okay, send me messages from um, other channels, uh, either personal messages or comments. And it'd be like, hey, loved your channel. Want to check out mine? Leave a sub. And uh, just to let you know, that's the worst way to get me to subscribe to your channel. Or to check it out, actually. Yeah, I don't want to subscribe to people. Well, I don't know if it's different for you. But you use the Girth Games uh, channel to yeah. watch stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I'm not going to subscribe to your stuff until I know I like it. Because it just ruins my subscriber feed. Right. Yeah. And, and this is, I've subscribed to so many people. And just realized months down the line, I don't watch this stuff anymore. So there's no reason for me to be subscribed. Yeah. yeah so, so what's the point? No, I'm not going to check out your channel because you checked out what? my... Wow. He hit a tree. He hit a tree and he wow. came down on me. <laughs> I would like to say that that was not my fault. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna play this one a little differently this time. It's good stuff. <laughs> anyway, I just want to clarify because I'm not gonna respond to those comments either because it's just this like I find channels all the time that like follow our Twitter. I was gonna say I checked out our Twitter yeah. and it's really weird that every single one of our followers is other gaming channels. Yeah, because no, they're not watching our videos. No. Well, if they were watching our videos, we would have more views. We have more views, yeah. But again, um, I don't really want views from people who don't want to watch it. Yeah, that too. Yeah. People will want to watch it, man. That's the way of the world. Yeah, you want to watch the show, you watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't fucking watch it. I've seen too many companies like <clears throat> EA um, that always try and just shove stuff down your throat and extract money out of your wallet. Yep. And I hate both of those things equally. Can I, can I just say that that was probably the greatest helicopter landing animation? Yeah, man. They really got that one down. <laughs> that is how it goes. I just found out the other day, Sonic 06 is not called Sonic 06. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog, and it was released in 2006. That's just why everyone refers to it people, as that? Yeah, people just call it Sonic 06. I didn't know that. By the way, getting driven into by a vehicle will kill you almost instantly. Have you watched any uh, Sonic 06? I've seen, like, not, not any playthrough version, but I have seen um, bugs. I would love to show you a little bit of it, because it is... Your SNS signal's being jammed. I mean, it's... I mean, everything else needs to be compared to Sonic 06. <laughs> yeah, just as a benchmark. Yeah, it's like they... Could have been worse. They had a lot of great ideas, and there's certain parts that play super well. It's like it's like they were partway through making it, and then they said, Game ships today. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out there. I was, I was, I was trying not to say... It was like the Game Grumps have talked about it at length. I'm trying not to say their jokes. Yeah, you gotta go over to the Game Grumps channel for those. Seriously. It's one of my fa- well, it's, um... It's the- one of the few really long John era uh, playthroughs, which is why I enjoyed it. Oh, it's John era. I didn't yeah. know it was that old. Yeah. I think they did like 106 episodes. It's, it's like- That's the one thing Sonic games do definitely have is length. They have an unbelievably long playthrough because they- they're Hear that? Did you, oh, did you get him? That jaw. Yeah. That's not the sound, though. People will make a much more high-pitched, like, kind of sound, <laughs> like like a chicken getting his head cut off. 
Um, yeah, Sonic games have um, three campaigns with a whole bunch of regurgitated levels. Every Sonic game has three campaigns? So far when I've watched them, almost every one of them's had three campaigns, yeah. But they're different, it's not like... Um... They follow the same basic plot, but from a different perspective, with a lot of the same levels. Huh. It's, yeah, a lot from of the a different time perspective, it's that's interesting at least. And it has one of the, like, Sonic 06 has one of the most infamous uh, boss fights, because it's like arguably not... Um, like, it's, it's... It doesn't follow the... Um, the typical standards of how a game should run. <laughs> Where you confusing? give the like, where you give the player an opportunity to win. <laughs> like this, like you can get stuck in a loop and never win. You can just get stuck there forever. Wow, and there's just no way out. Yeah, there's it's no use. <laughs> no, I see. Oh god, that's a that's that's an enemy helicopter. I think. Gee, this is a hard level so far. Oh, all the ace contracts are, are in the water. Yeah, I didn't realize I was going in that. One. Strafe, brother. Strafe, brother. Oh, Strafe shit. more. Oh, Strafe shit. more. That helicopter <laughs> is really getting to me. <laughs> Best way to survive in these games really is to move really fast. I don't have any bullets. Oh, you got it. Oh. Man, thank you for joining us. We'll eventually beat this level. <laughs> ace contracts will definitely be the longest episode. <laughs> oh.